two small purchases and they were out of small bags. But I went to Origins. They were Somerset Mall. And I've seen them, but I haven't read them. All the products are um, naturally made. They are paraben free. They have cosmetics. They have skincare. They have um, serums. Um, they have your know, aromatherapy stuff, lotions, creams. Um, so anyway, if you follow Rachel O on YouTube, um, I think she has a web page too, but I'm not sure if it's Rachel O, but she does beauty in and out, whatever. But the other day she had on a cranberry lipstick and it was sort of matte and I loved that look on her and I wanted to try it. Because, you know, I'm not really deep in the reds, but that really cute on her. But anyway, this, I think I'm going to need some more light. Do I need to change? No, anyway. Whatever. So I got this. Um, lipstick is not I was in there looking for that I didn't find that color uh, and sometimes I'm gonna watch the video and see what the real color was and who made it cuz um, whatever but this is a what they're hydrating lipsticks and all the lipsticks have a gloss to them they don't have a matte um, and that's because they use oils to do their lipsticks instead of certain chemicals so um, the sun's trying to go in this, the clouds coming out but hopefully anyway we'll talk about this later I got this lipstick and then she gave me a sample of Dr. Will Dr. Will I'm assuming W-E-I-L wash um, and then she, it says uh, on the back this is interesting of the sample it tells you what they around there what it is and then it, she checked off to use it daily in the morning and evening. Um, so, yeah. And they also do makeovers. I mean, she let me play the lipsticks for a while. So, yeah. That's what I got from there. Um, Lush was my first stop. So, that's another reason why I spent so much money. Because I hadn't bought anything yet. I actually went out there to get my iPhone serviced. Because we do not. I think I dropped something for having an iPhone store in Flint. So, hopefully that'll be coming. Alrighty. So, I went to the iPhone store. Got my stuff together. I wasn't going to Favorite 21, but I'm like, I just got earrings. So, I'm not going to buy any more earrings. But I probably should have went there. But anyway. So, I went to Mac. I got the iPhone store. And, I got two lipsticks. The Cyber, which a lot of you guys already know, which is a really dark, deep purple with, um, it has a little matte to it. You can see how dark it is, but I'll do a makeup video probably in the car <laughs> or when I have better light. Um, I'm not figuring this lighting thing out in my room. Um, the part of the reason it's dark, so dark is because of the color of my walls, that mustard gold color, which I love, that matches my burnt orange curtains <laughs> but I was going for a warm feel when I did this one I was going to repaint the summer that didn't happen dang I'm random okay because this video is getting long and then I got the rebel rebel Ooh, it's another purple I love purple I love purple I love burgundies I like dark colors um I'll try these up I'll, I'll try these on for you another day okay so that's what I got at next then I'm walking around Macy's. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm really going there with this apartment. I really, I don't ever buy clothes in Macy's. I always buy makeup, uh, makeup, perfume, cologne, Macy's. Okay. But I was at Somerset and they have three floors. So I'm going to, I probably should check out all three floors. So I went to the second floor and I went in the women's section. And remember, I'm in Somerset. I'm in Troy. I'm out here with people that make a lot, a lot of money. So a lot of stuff is out my, out my pay grade. Okay. I'm looking for some jeans. I have issues finding jeans. I hate Lamb Bryant jeans because they're mostly spandex. And even, they're spandex, not only are they spandex, but they cut close in the thigh. And then they start to wind up at the knee. They're not big girl friendly if you got big thighs. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway. So, I hate trying on jeans and Lamb Bryant because I always leave out there feeling sort of, some kind of way about myself. And then, um, I have been buying some at Target. But I don't have, like, several... Um, Target has, has uh, one jean that I like, 
But I don't want to have like five pairs of the same jean, right? So I just been wearing like that pair of jeans. I had another pair of jeans, and uh, and when you are have big thighs, you know you have a tendency to wear out your jeans. And I'm not the patchy kind of girl. And anyway, so anyway, I need some jeans to wear to work outside the days that I wear my chinos that I got from Target. That are like thick. They're nice. They wash up well. You know, they hold up well. I like them, and I can dress them up or dress them down. And I have a black pair, a brown pair. I have two black pair, a brown pair, and a tan pair. And I'm going to, uh, hopefully this year, they get a navy blue. Or maybe I'll try to find them online. But anyway, long story short. I went to Macy's. My guy, mama said that. Long story short. Um, they had some jeans for $60. I never wore Macy's jeans, and I wasn't about to go try them all. But I wasn't paying $60 for no jeans, okay? I'm not that chick. Not at this point in my life. Now, if these nineteen dollars, actually these are regular price. These are regular price. I think these are nine. These are regular price for fifty nine dollars, and they were on sale for nineteen dollars. These are Style Co. And they do have a little stretch in them, little pull because they have my laptop just hit the floor. <laughs> so I got these for nineteen dollars. I got the little design on the pocket, but you know I ain't trick. I ain't worried about no design. I just want them to fit my body and look decent, you know. So I got a pair of dark blue. What well, else the back ones? Those are black. These are style codes. What I had two X of them. They were nineteen dollars, but I couldn't use my twenty percent off mobile coupon. Because they were on special for $19.99. Um, so, yeah, Style Co. Women Jeans. And if you look at the leg of them, these are the straight leg ones. Which is hard to find straight leg. And this is what the pocket looks like. Yeah, it's hard to find straight leg jeans. Cause I, I mean, because if it fit my thigh, I don't mind it being wide leg. I don't mind it being straight leg. I don't want you to be able to see every dimple or roundness of my thigh and then it shrinks in at the knee and, it, it, and then you can see like the bulge of fat off top. <laughs> see, we didn't become a society where people fat and don't know they fat or they did not. You can love yourself, but you need to know your strengths. So you work on your strengths. If you got a waist, I got a, I got a little waist. So I accentuate the waist, but the stuff that don't nobody need to see. Nobody need to see your dimples. Don't need to see your muffin top. They don't need to see your tramp stamp, especially if you got stretch marks and rolls up under. Okay, people, I need y'all to listen to me because it's not attractive. And then, you know, the dudes is accepted. The chicks think it's all right. And so now you got kids that's not even, not kids, grown up, people that's not even that big walking around showing all this stuff. And it's like, seriously? What about self-respect? Yeah, love yourself, but self-respect. Cover some of that stuff up. Don't want to see all that. Rant. Okay. <laughs> These are the, the dark, another dark blue pair. And this is the design on the pocket. <clears throat> And these are straight leg as well. And uh, they got the little reinforced, they said comfort waist, little reinforced waist. <laughs> and these new buttons. And they got they got a little stretch in the waist. And I did not try these on. So I'm going to try these on. And if I look or feel a certain kind of way, I'll be going to Macy's and get my $60 back, okay? Well, I might go this exchange for something else because I, I, okay, that Ruby Woo. That Ruby will. I don't do red lipsticks, but somebody dared me to go get me a red lipstick. Uh, you know, people, if you watch the YouTube trend on makeup, people are saying that, you know, any skin tone can wear red. Any skin tone can blah, 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 blah. No, you can't. It's a way to wear red. Because some people don't have a line, like a solid line on their lips. And tell, trust me, because I know I've done people make up who don't have a, a, not a really natural hard line on their lip. And if you're wearing a red lipstick and it looks like it's bleeding in your face and it actually looks like you just threw it on there like you're a two-year-old, that's not good. Use a lip liner. Preferably a brown one so that you can differentiate between your lips are and your face begin. Something like that, okay? And then you have some people that, anyway... <laughs> You throw on a red lipstick, and you got on purple blush, and you got on green eyeshadow. I need y'all to, I mean, you can be artistic and whatever, but seriously, 
Seriously. I mean, I've seen some videos. Two pink lips. If you got on red lipstick and your lips are really, really pink on the inside, you have a tendency to do like this, and people can see all that, and it look like, mm. yeah, I've been on this thing about this red lipstick. And it don't have nothing to do with darker light. Everybody just can't do red lipstick. Everybody can't do natural hair. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody can't do black eyeliner. My god sister did her makeup one time. And I put the black eyeliner on her. And oh my gosh. It just messed up her whole color scheme. So then I had to take it off and use a brown. You know like a. It was like a, a milk chocolate because it wasn't a dark brown. It wasn't like a cayenne brown. It was like a light brown. And then that looked beautiful. So, you know, you, you just have to realize it's not even about tolerance or accepting different things. Some things, stuff just don't work for you. But anyway. That being said. Yeah. So, this is my haul. You can call this my Financial Peace University failure. Because I have spent some buku money in three days. This is like a binge. It's not a food binge. It's a shopping binge. Okay. So, y'all be blessed. I'll talk to you guys later.